Hey Year 5, I hope you're all safe and well. I thought I'd make this video for you for Tuesday's maths lesson just to help you out. So first of all we're going to have a little recap. So in your starter activity you were asked whether you would prefer a half or a third of a cake. Hmm. Now when you're thinking about this question you need to think well the larger the denominator the something the fraction that's what we need to find out with that question so if the denominator is two so a half we can split this into a half and as we can see that's, that is a half of that bar now a third would be split into three pieces so the whole split into three one third so you can see that actually a third is smaller so the bigger the number, the smaller the fraction. So therefore, the larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. You could say that the other way around. You could say the smaller the denominator, the larger the size of the fraction. So personally, I would prefer a half of a cake because I really, really like cake. Um, so today we're going to think about ordering fractions in ascending order. Lots of you might remember me saying, well, ascending is going up. So it's from the smallest to the largest. So think of it as a roller coaster. So we're going up, going up the roller coaster. So here we've got two fifths, three tenths, and two twentieths. Hmm. Well, all the numerators are different sizes. So I can't just base it on the fact of the denominators. I need to convert them all to a common multiple. So I'm going to think, well, I've got five, 10 and 20. Well, actually, I could leave this fraction as it is and turn all of these into 20ths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them into 20ths so that I can compare them so that they're the same physical size pieces to be able to compare them. So five times four is 20. Okay, so I can do 20 at the bottom. Now, whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So two times four is eight. So here we've got eight twentieths. Okay, so let's do that. Let's write that down in steps. So the first thing we do is we find the common multiple. That's the first thing you need to do. Then you need to convert all fractions into that multiple. what we're doing now. So three tenths. I can convert that into twentieths because I know ten times two, well that's twenty. And again whatever I do to the bottom I have to do to the top. So also I've got to times the top by two. So three times two is six. So now I've got two twentieths, six twentieths and eight twentieths. Now, if I was to write those in ascending order, okay, so now I've converted them all, I know that 2 twentieths is smaller because the numerator is now the smallest and we know that the denominator is all the same size. So I'm going to say number three, write them from smallest to largest. So the first one would be two twentieths. The next one would be six twentieths. Now instead of writing six twentieths, I need to write my original fraction. So I need to write three tenths. And I'm going to put in brackets here, original fraction. Remember that was an equivalent fraction that we made it. So six 
twentieth, so we're writing three tenths, and then the last one we would need to write two fifths rather than eight twentieths. Okay, I would now like you to have a go at the problems that are in your workbook. Okay, thank you very much.